Hey guys, what's up, Mr. Standard here, and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Well, in today's video, I will show you six most important settings that you should change in your Samsung device right now. All these settings will make your smartphone experience much better. With that being said, the likes target for this video is 500 likes. I know you guys will do it. So hit that like button and let's get started. So the first thing I will show you is how you can easily open your notification panel by swiping down anywhere on your home screen. Well, if you swipe down, you will get app drawer, which is kind of useless for me because even if you swipe up, you will get the same app drawer. So what you need to do is just tap and hold on your home screen, then go to settings. Here, if you scroll down, you will get this option called quick open notification panel. Just make sure you enable this. And now, if you swipe down, you will get this notification panel, which is very handy. So the next thing I will show you is how you can improve the performance of your device by speeding up the animations. To make your device more fast and snappy, all you need to do is just go to your settings, about phone, software information, and tap on this build number for seven times. Now you will see this developer option in your settings menu. Just click on it. If you scroll down, you will have this window animation and transition animation. Just make it to 0.5. Now you will find that your phone is much faster and snappier than before. All right, the next thing I will show you is very useful. If you are playing games or watching videos in your device and suddenly you are getting a call from your friend, it will be very annoying for us because it takes up the entire screen by completely blocking the user experience. I will show you how you can fix this. Just go to your phone dialer, tap on this three dots, then go to settings. Here you will find this option called show calls in pop-up window. Just enable this and now whenever you receive a call, it will show up like this in a pop-up window and you will have a much better multitasking experience. Well, the next thing is actually related to dark mode. I know we all love using night mode in our Samsung devices just because of that beautiful AMOLED display that we get. But I will show you how you can use it more effectively. Just go to your settings, display and then to night mode. Here you will have this option called turn on as scheduled. Just enable this setting so that you can schedule the night mode as per your need. For example, I have scheduled it during the night time so that it will be more pleasing to my eyes. You can set it any time and it will get automatically activated during that particular time. So the next trick is only for those who are having in-display fingerprint scanner in their smartphone. Guys, we all know Samsung in-display fingerprint scanner is not that fast when compared to other phones. I will show you how you can make it much better and improved. Just go to your settings, biometrics and security, then go to your fingerprints and remove all the fingerprint that you have already added. Now you need to add your same fingerprint or your thumb for three times. By doing this simple trick, you will definitely find some improvement in the display fingerprint scanner. Guys, I have already made a dedicated video on this. If you want, you can surely watch it. I will leave a direct link in the description for that video as well. Guys, I know many of you love using always on display feature in your Samsung device. And even I use it on my Galaxy A50. But the only downside of this awesome feature is that it consumes a lot of battery. Today I will show you how you can use this always on display feature more effectively and at the same time you can save your battery as well. Just go to your settings, display and then to always on display. Here you will find this option called display mode. It will be set to always on by default. Just make sure you change it to tap to show option. Now if you want to check your notifications, you just need to tap on your screen and it will show the always on display feature. So definitely try this one out guys because it will save you a lot of battery. Well that's pretty much it. These are some of the most useful settings that you need to change in your Samsung device right now. If you guys like the video then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will catch you guys in the next one.